What's up guys, this is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. Wanted to make a quick video just to show you guys how to take care of this issue if you are, are experiencing the same thing. Um, the other day I went out to the lake, I used my remote control to, um, whenever I launch my boat sometimes, instead of tying it off to the boat dock, I will just drive it away from the dock, hit spot lock, leave it there while I park the truck and come back. So whenever I went to turn it on, I was getting this error. Let's go ahead and turn it on real quick. Hit agree. Motor not found. So um, didn't really have time to mess with it while I was out on the lake. So I decided to wait till I got back home to take care of it. But let me go ahead and show you guys how I fixed this problem real quick. So obviously the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the trolling motor turned on. Mine is turned on. You can tell by this blue light indicator right here. So that's off on there we go you can hear it beep a few times to make sure that it's turned on all right now let's take a look and see what may be causing that issue all right so here we are over by the trolling motor let's go into the get that glare off of there go into the settings on here uh let me back out of that and the first thing i want to do is Go and see where I can pair this thing at. Let's see. Let's go in system, touchscreen menu, pair. All right, there we go. That was pretty quick and simple. Let's just go back real quick to the home screen, hit that home button up there. And basically all that I did was went down to here, clicked on system, scroll down, and then I hit that pair button. Let's see if it does anything scanning. Yeah, so it pairs uh, very quickly. All right, hope that's it. Uh, all right, now let me see, let me turn this off. Just press that check mark up here that check mark and just held that in until it shut down now I will turn it back on let it load up hit the agree button all right there we go all right so the motor not found button is no longer coming on the screen looks like it's good and ready to go so I'll take this out to the lake now and test it out all right so in order for me to fully check it out I would need to be where I can deploy the trolling motor I'm currently in the garage, so I won't be able to do that, but I can just press some of these buttons and it is making sounds on the trolling motor showing me that it is um, connected. Um, let me see the other thing. I can adjust the prop speed and I can hear it beeping on here. So it's showing that that is connected for me. All right, so next time I get on the water, I know how to fix this pretty quick. It isn't something that I would have to wait to come back home to. Hope that helped you guys out. That is a very quick and easy fix. Just turn the remote on, make sure that the trolling motor itself at the foot pedal is turned on, go down to system, pairing, click that one time and you should uh, hear it beep and you're done. All right guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I do have other tips and tricks with um, the electronics, Humminbird, uh, Mega 360, when the Mega Live comes out, I'll definitely be uploading some videos on that. Um, and that's about it. Tournament videos, all that good kind of stuff. I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. See you on the next video.